Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 949, where we have 50 moves to clear out 29 jelly and reach 45,000 points. But we only have 50 moves, assuming we can clear out these ticking time bombs set at 20, and anything else that falls at us. We've got um, <laughs> the jelly here, here, here in this isolated area. We've got a whole construct of portal systems that we need to uh, figure out. So let's jump in and see what we can do and how we can best use these color bombs that are on the board for us. Because obviously we need to reach through to this side somehow. Uh, I'd love to be able to pair these up right away. I don't see that happening without a little bit more work. So let's hope that, phew, we're not getting um, the licorice twirls instantly coming down at us. We've got a little bit of room to kind of work and play and practice and try to make something of this area. Let's see. Okay, so now I have this open. And so anytime I wish, I can trigger uh, opening some of these. And I think I might. Uh, let's go ahead. We've got four red here and a red here and a red here. And I only have red or green as options. There are three green. So I'm going to go ahead and take out red. One little extra one plus it triggered something else. Ooh, now this portal system dropped the items this way. And now let's see about making even more specials and matches. Could I get another color bomb? Might be tricky. Doesn't seem to be working, so let's do what does work. I'm going to open this area and open this up. We've got a limited amount of time to work before we get the ticking time bombs descending on us. But now I have a way to counteract it. Ooh, here's what I'm going to do. This is a bit tricky. Taking out the blue would have been a more uh, sure thing. This, I've got now a couple of opportunities to strike this, but this isn't a sure thing. If these are all horizontal, I'm kind of dead here. Oh, good, we got vertical. So we took out that ticking time bomb, and now we've opened things up. Uh, it looks like there's still one more jelly over here, and then a lot of jelly over here, but now we've got this area open, and now we can make matches and specials in this area. triggering things that way, seeing a lot of cascading. I like to take out the areas that are difficult to reach. Now I've got this opportunity, which I think is a wonderful opportunity. Before I do this, though, I'm going to risk losing this by taking out this because it was double thick. I'm not going to do any more, even though we've got some double thick stuff here. That upper area is sometimes very difficult to reach. So I wanted to make sure I took out everything double thick there. Okay, so now the only thing we have to deal with is that. And I think I can take it out by a couple of well-placed turns over here. Notice I'm not going for the straight shots. I'm going for trying to create something big. I don't know if I can. I was thinking I could get these blue to work together. The other thing I want to do is make sure I pay attention to what's happening here. If I can take out the licorice next to this, then it'll be easier to remove the offending square. Wow, even though I have 16 moves, I'm not terribly confident. The more specials I can make, the more confidence I build. But I'm still not reaching down here, so... Here we go. That feels better. Let's go ahead and send off all orange. 
It's going to open this up and it took it out at the same time. I thought that I would have to strike that twice. So that's how I go about beating this level. That was my first playthrough, which is why it was a sugar drop level for me. If you're still struggling, don't forget you can bring in boosters or use your lolly hammer to reach those difficult areas. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.